It said you manifest what you focus on. This week we're gonna talk about how that's especially true as an investor. So as I've shared in these commentaries countless times, I'm fascinated uh, by how our minds matter so much to our plans and our portfolios. And so with everything going on in the markets these days, I wanted to, again, address some important concepts. I'm going to use Chris Rock. I'm going to use Simon Sinek. Guys, uh, certainly a lot funnier and more interesting than I. The first is really what is the nature of the market and how we really confuse that. Two, once we understand the nature of the market, what do we see? Do we see challenges? or do we see opportunities? And finally, sharing some things uh, that again are benefits of me getting to have my day job and hear the secret confessions of investors um, and what we can all learn from those. So the first thing we need to do if we're gonna have a constructive focus is understand the nature of what it is we're dealing with. And when we talk about the nature of investing, I think back to a great Chris Rock bit where he's talking about the Siegfried and Roy incident where they got bit by the tiger and how everybody uh, was shocked that this would happen. They were saying, and the tiger went crazy. And he's like, the tiger didn't go crazy. The tiger went tiger. I feel the same way about markets. Uh, again, it could really be any market, but certainly the stock market when it comes to investors. And every time a correction happens, uh, they're freaking out. Uh, they're shocked. They're surprised. Uh, they're just sure it'll never end. Uh, when this is just the nature of who markets are from time to time, just like a tiger, they're going to growl. You need to, again, understand and disembue yourself of the notion that your expectations around what's going to happen, your timing, your name for your portfolio has nothing to do with what your investments or the market are going to give you in any point in time. And when you do, what happens is you lessen that chance for that surprise reaction, that emotional reaction that's not going to be healthy. Again, just to remind you, most corrections happen about every 18 months. They draw down about 14%. 75% of years still end up being positive. So that long-term result that you hope to see out of your portfolio is absolutely possible if you stay in the game. Uh, but it's not if you, again, forget the nature of the thing that you're investing in uh, with respect to particularly stocks. Secondly, where's your focus? Is it on the obstacles uh, that are preventing you from where you're going to get? Or is it the goal itself? Simon Sinek's got a great uh, piece, again, a great book, Start With Why. Uh, so important to remember our whys. But he's sharing a story about him and his buddy being in Central Park after a weekend jog as part of this runner's club. Runners Club always had some freebies at the end. This week was bagels. And he's like, all I could see was the bagel. All my friend could see was the long line to go get that bagel. Same for investors. Are you someone who, when you look at a long-term stock chart, only sees all the drawdowns, lets those uh, lead to some hand-wringing and some sweats? Or are you looking at, man, oh, given time, I could really accomplish some great things uh, should I stay the course? Uh, you don't know what you are? Ask yourself right now, are you someone who's looking at that year to date, who focuses on the worst possible time frame? anything off the all-time highs triggers you? Or are you looking back over the last 12 months and saying, you know, my stock portfolio is probably up around 8%. Uh, or for the last five years, even if things were to pull back a little bit more, I'm still in the high single digits, uh, right in line with my historic average returns. That kind of a positive mindset is not only going to help you enjoy your days a lot more from time to time, but it's the kind of thing that's going to help you uh, keep uh, your focus in the right place. You're going to let the fear of the moment control you, or are you going to let the fear of what we see time to time, which is if you get too conservative, you get chased out in the bottom of the lines, very few plans work. You need to, again, stay that course and understand that this is not about trying to change or manifest something that the market can do. It is about trying to change ourselves so that we can, again, get what the market will give us given the right amount of time. To bring it together, uh, one of the benefits of our positions outside of getting to think and read and learn about this all the time is to get to work with clients. And unlike so many of you who only hear about your buddies' winners at the cocktail party stories, we hear a lot about the different regrets people have, the coulda, woulda, shouldas, and almost invariably they're about a false expectation that led to a surprise, that led to a less than ideal uh, situation. Your mindset matters understanding the facts around markets, things like after seven straight days of over 30 on the VIX uh, as we hit this week and you're feeling like the volatility will never end, uh, it's a volatility index, and the media is telling you it's never gonna end. The reality, this is a true stat, is three months out, you're usually up 8%. Six months out, you're usually up close to 14. 
One year out, you're up over 20. That's what usually happens, but that's not how any of us uh, usually feel. And lastly, don't let your buddy, or most importantly, the press, confuse you, uh, uh, confuse being critical with critical thinking. It's so easy, and studies have shown, it sounds smart to be pessimistic, the reality, the fact of the matter is, markets, investing in general, leads to far more progress over time than it does pain uh, if you come with the right mindset. But the media is not gonna tell you that because again, they wanna keep you in front of the TV. What I hope you do this week, if you are in front of the TV, is turn on that basketball game, enjoy it, or get out into that sunshine. And again, enjoy why we do what we do, why we've begun investing in the first place, which again, is our habits, uh, our passions, our time with family, and that's what we hope fills your weekend this weekend, regardless of what the markets may or may not be doing. As always, thanks for your time.